My name is Janine Warner. I'm the Deputy Head Nurse at Acorns Children's Hospice, Worcester, and I've worked here for three years. The sensory room is, can be used for so many different things. So heightened sensory overload, or, you know, really relaxing, or at those times of end of life as well, we can support. Sensory as well can involve the sound, touch, so your senses, think of all your senses. You've got your smells, what you can see, what you can hear, what you can taste. So we can do anything in that room that can activate all senses because some children's senses are really heightened where we can change it to support the clients that don't want too much sensory overload. Or we can make it a room where we can make it, everything's really sensitive because some children do like the noise, the lights, the fun, and we can change it to whatever the client's needs are. It can either be somewhere which is really noisy and lots of lights, or it can be somewhere that's really calm and relaxing with cool lights. So in a multi-sensory room, we have a wall that you can tap, a sponge wall, which makes lots of different noises for every square you tap. Then we have the light that's on the wall that, makes, um, a, a, that lights up with your voice or sounds. Then if you move around, we've got a light ladder which just press, as you touch it, the lights can change colour or the ladder will climb. Then we have a big, lovely, warm waterbed, which is absolutely amazing. And we always joke and say, do not go in there after lunch because you will fall asleep. But on there we have what's called um, a fibre optic light curtain, which just hangs. And sometimes the children will lay there with some nice calm music and just slowly watch the glows changing colour. And it's so relaxing. It's such a lovely room. And we've got the big pillars then, which have got water bubbles with different colours then. That can, we can either, we can change it so that the lights change colour with your voice or sound, or that they just slowly move, depending who you've got in there, depending what type of client you've got in there. Because some clients, will not want a lot of sound. They just may be a bit more sensitive to sound. So they want something more calming and relaxing where we can change the lighting so it's a real calm experience. We've got an iPod area where we can plug in something that we can play some calm waves or sounds of the outside or birds or whatever you want that's relaxing and some nice lights. And the client might be able just want to lay on the nice warm bed and just listen to the sounds.